Welcome back everybody, Garage RC here. Today I'm going over how to turn any plane into a beginner plane. Hear me out for a second, you're probably not gonna wanna turn that giant stump plane into a beginner plane because why would you wanna have a beginner? Yeah, whatever. But if you guys are in love with like a F-18 or an A-10 or something along those lines, you don't always have to fly a high wing trainer like you did back in the day. Technology now allows people to fly with a six axis gyro. A lot of people are gonna be against me saying that because they say it doesn't actually teach you how to fly. I'm gonna disagree. I believe it does teach you how to fly. It teaches you all the basic dynamics of flying with a safe zone. So I have two gyros which I'm gonna show you guys today. One of them plugs into any receiver, whether you have a receiver and you're using a Futaba remote or something like that, this one will plug into any receiver you have. And then I also have the ones that I use in a lot of these planes. Um, and I wish I had one in my Air Force One plane because I would still have that plane today. And that is Spectrum has receivers that you can program safe into for any plane you want to put it in. And a lot of you guys might say, Jay, listen, what happens when I don't want to use the gyro anymore? What happens when I feel like my skill level is well above what the gyro is capable of? Well, you program it to a switch and that's the beauty of having a gyro you don't always have to use it and when you don't want to use it you don't have to go back into the plane and open it up all you have to do is hit the switch and it's going to shut the gyro off now that works amazing too if you're just trying to learn how to do tricks on a stunt plane you have the gyro off you're doing stunts you lose orientation you just hit that switch and the plane will correct itself so i'm going to get some planes together and we're going to go over the basic functions of a gyro and then i'm going to show you how to get them in a plane and get up in the air with confidence. So I got two planes lined up here, and these are both planes that if you had half a brain, you would look at and say, there is no way possible I'm gonna fly one of these as a beginner. Well, you're wrong. Both of these have a gyro. They have different kinds of gyros. So let's go over what a gyro does. A basic six axis gyro is gonna allow this plane to fly level at all times, whether you're holding this stick or not. So if I go right, it's gonna limit my bank angle to whatever degree I set it to. Now, if I let go of the sticks, it's gonna auto level and fly at a perfectly level pitch. Same thing as up, same thing as down. If I'm going down and I let go of the sticks, it's automatically gonna level out. That is great for a beginner because if you lose orientation of this or you're flying away or something happens and you panic, all you gotta do is let go and it will fly as long as there's some throttle applied. And again, if you guys don't wanna use the gyro, you just hit the switch and you get the full bank angle as you would with a regular plane. Now, I have a Spectrum AR630 transmitter in here. I'm gonna teach you about that one. And in this one, I have an Admiral receiver tied to a Reflex version two gyro. I'm gonna go over both of these with you and let you guys pick which one you would prefer in your planes. Now, with any aftermarket gyro that's not built into the receiver, this is my receiver right here, this is my gyro. What happens is that the control surface servo leads for your elevator, your rudder, your aileron, and your throttle are all going to plug directly into your gyro. Now, there is a separate spot where the servo leads are gonna come out of the gyro and plug directly into receiver. Now, what happens is your remote tells your receiver what it wants it to do, and then the receiver then tells the gyro, which tells your plane. However, the gyro is gonna limit how much it allows the surfaces to actually move. Now, what happens with the gyro, so I have the gyro on, it has full function right now. So if I go left and I hit this angle right here is as far as it's gonna let me go. If you guys can see, those control surfaces leveled out. So that means that's as far as it's going to let me go. I'm gonna go right, same concept. I'm gonna go up, that's as far as the pitch is gonna let me climb. So this one is set up for three ways. So I have that basic gyro. Then I have optimized mode, which is gonna work as AS3X would. If the wind's hitting this plane, it's gonna fight it to keep it as level as possible. And then you have full gyro off mode. So if I wanna go left, it's gonna allow me to go as far left as I want. Same thing if I'm climbing. And that's the basics of a gyro and how this one works. Now I like this gyro, I think it's a great gyro, it's a fair price, I think it's only about 30 bucks. So if you guys have a plane that you're not comfortable flying and you're a little nervous to get it in the air because you think you're gonna crash, I would slap one of these things in it because you're in the air, you're flying it as you would, and you lose orientation, whack it, the plane's gonna level out and you can figure out how to get it back safe. 
All right, and next we got the F-18. In here, I have a Spectrum AR-630 six-channel receiver. I really like these receivers, and if I knew about this, again, I would never have totaled my Air Force One plane. I would have put this receiver in it. This receiver doesn't require a bind plug. It has a button. You just push the button, and it binds up. Now, I'm going to walk you guys through how to set this up and why I love this receiver so much for every plane. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to set this up. Once you have your receiver from the plane bound to your transmitter, you're going to go into your settings, and you're going to go to forward programming. We're going to go to gyro settings, first time setup. Okay, please make sure the model has been configured, including wind type, reversing, travel trimmed, etc. All right, so what they want you to do with this plane right now is they want you to make sure that your surfaces are moving in the correct direction. If they're not, you're gonna reverse them. That's fine. All right, so that is all correct. So we're gonna go next. Any wing type, chattel assignment, sub trim, server reversing changes require running through initial setup again. No, so we're gonna go next. Okay, now it's telling us to set the model level and press continue. So the model is indeed level, and we are gonna hit continue. Set the model on its nose and press continue. All right, hang on, let's get this on its nose. Just like that. Continue. Okay. Now, it wants you to make sure that the receiver is in the right direction. So here it's showing that the servos need to be plugged in this way. So the bind button needs to be to the front of the plane. I have that correct in mine. Make sure it's correct in yours if you're setting it up for the first time. So we're gonna hit continue. Okay, gain channel select. We are going to set that to the gear. And I'm gonna hit apply. All right, the receiver is rebooting. Now once all of that is set up, you're gonna go back into your menu, you're gonna go back to forward programming. And then you're gonna go down to a, something that says gyro settings. First time safe setup. We're gonna click that. Before setting up, say the flight mode channel must be configured. <clears throat> so we're gonna set a flight mode to our gear switch. Okay, gear A. Now we're gonna hit next. Okay, so it wants us to level and capture the altitude. So our plane is completely level right now. So we're reading a zero, which is good. Now, this is my favorite part of the AR630 receiver. We could set our roll limits. So if you're a newbie and you wanna do like 30%, you know, where the plane only goes this far or, you know, only up a little bit, or if you're, you know, pretty good and you want it to bank as far as possible without rolling over, you could raise it to be almost, almost 100%. So that's what I'm gonna do here because I like mine to be able to go as far as possible. So we're gonna go 90 on the roll right, 90 on the roll left, pitch down, lets us go to 75 and pitch up will be the same thing, 75. Now we're gonna hit next and apply. So it just captured that, which is great. Now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into forward programming. We're gonna to go to gyro settings. We're gonna to go to F mode setup. We're gonna to go to AS3X and we're gonna activate it. We're gonna to go to safe mode, we're gonna activate it. I'm not gonna have a panic mode on, but if you guys want one, you can. Yeah, we're gonna do, yeah, self level, yep, okay. And we're gonna go back. And that's it, it should be activated. Let's check. All right, now you guys can see, I got my elevator fully pitched up. As I climb out, it evens out. And then if I hit safe, it'll let me fully backflip. And same thing, so I'm fully left. 
it levels out. It won't let me go past this point. If I hit save, it'll let me flip over. So that's the basic programming for safe. And that's it, guys. That is gyros for beginners. Um, they both work amazing. So whether you know you want to be able to reprogram it from your remote or the Reflex actually has a computer software where you could adjust bank angles and do all that stuff from the computer. All depends on what kind of receiver you want to use, what kind of remote you have. But either way, they both work amazing. Now, good luck to everybody because if you're watching this, you're probably a beginner. And I wish you the best of luck on your first flight. Thanks for watching. Till next time.